So today we're going to be doing third grade worksheet lesson 30. And the first exercise is to tell if each figure is a polygon. Now this paragraph here sums up what a polygon even is. And it says a polygon is a closed plane figure with straight sides or line segments. So number one, we see that it is closed and it has straight sides. So number one is. Number two is the same thing as number one. Um, it is closed and it does have straight sides. It's just the sides aren't, the sides are um, going diagonally. Now, number three. So this one doesn't have straight sides because it's a circle. And it says here, a circle is an example of a plane figure that has no straight sides, which means that number three isn't a polygon. Now, number four, although it has two straight sides, this, this part here is considered a circle, which means it would not be considered a polygon. Number five is a polygon because same thing as two, this, the sides are straight. Like even if the sides are diagonal, it still counts as straight. Now, number six, this one, um, we can see that there's a side missing on top. And that means that it's not closed. So it's not a polygon. Now, moving on to telling if each figure is a triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, or octagon. And this part briefly sums up the characteristics of each, uh, each shape. So number one, it has one, two, three, four sides. And we're just gonna circle all the angles. So there's an angle here, 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 and here. Four sides, four angles, that would be a quadrilateral. Right there. Uh, number two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight angles. And if we really wanted to, we could count the sides, but it's just gonna be the same as the amount of angles. So that would be octagon. <clears throat> Number three, one, two, three, four, five sides. And in this exercise, we don't need to count both the sides and angles because we can see here in the shapes that they're all the sides and angles are all the same amount. So if we count the sides, then we basically count the number of angles too. So five sides would be a pentagon. Now moving on to number four, one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That would be a hexagon. Number five, one, two, three sides. And looking above, it's a triangle. Number six, one, two, three, four sides. That would um also be a quadrilateral. Same thing as number one. Now moving on to triangles. Tell if each triangle is an equilateral isosceles or scalene. Then estimate if each triangle is a right, obtuse, or acute. So there's two ways to define a triangle by its side and by its angle. And we're gonna we're gonna define each triangle by its side and angles for these three triangles. So number one, there's two sides that are both three centimeters and one side that is two centimeters. Uh looking above at the descriptions says here two equal sides is isosceles so we know that this would be isosceles that tells us what the sides are now we need to know about the angles so the to define the angles we base it off of 90 degrees 
if it's larger, less, or equal to 90 degrees. And we do it off this angle, this angle, and this angle, the three angles in a triangle. And all three of these angles are less than 90 degrees because 90 degrees would be, well, hold on. Because 90 degrees would be this much and the triangle goes this much, which means it's less. Same thing for this one. It doesn't go all the way to 90. So it means that all three angles are acute, less than 90, so it's acute. Number two, one side is three centimeters, one side is four centimeters, and the other is two centimeters. So there's zero equal sides, and over here it tells us that's scalene. So scalene. And for the angle, you can see right here that this angle forms a perfect right angle. And we only need one right angle for the triangle to be considered a right triangle. Number three, all three of the sides are two centimeters. And three equal sides, equilateral. So this is equilateral. And this is similar to um this is similar to sorry um well we can see here that all of these all three of these sides are acute if we look here and since they're all acute Like so, um, like number one, it's an acute triangle. And now moving on to word problems. Number one, a group of tra members will travel to the museum in four vans. Each van holds eight members. How many members can be taken to the museum? So each van holds eight members and there's four vans. Four vans times eight members in each van. That would just be 32 members that can be taken to the museum. And that's all we're going to do for today.